Sí, that's Kiho. And then he can take back. And Elisa Collier, the knock. The Pyrian Scorio. Josh Williams and Mithi Quarcho de Mela. And then Gabla Guria Nedelman in. Am I doing it? Rhenhaunda <laughs> Parti mana kevno gwir hen ac ifanc yma yn dathlu am y Gwenan Harris. Yma gyda fi yn dathlu hefyd. Ond cyn i ni sôn am gem heddi Gwenan, mae yna newyddion newydd dori yn yr eiliadau ôl yma bod Sophie Ingel yn camu lawr fel captain Team Merched Cymru. Gwenan, mae hwn wedi dod fel tipyn o sioc. Mae ti'n maf e, um, i bawb i'n credu. Um, fi wedi siarad gyda hi. Mae resa mae amlo gyda hi a mae'n teimlo taw nawr i'r amser gorau ar ôl bron dig mlynedd um, fel captain. Fi personol ddim mwyn yn cytuno, fi'n meddwl dylai hi parhau ond penderfyniad hi hwnna. Fi ddim diddorol i weld nawr pwy fi ddim cael uh, am babi credu nawr nhw falle pasio fe gwmpas i cwpl o pobl. Um, da e nhw mawr i fi, heili lad neu anghael James yn personol. Ok, wel, well, nawr ni drafod mwy am y stori yma hanner amser. Ond gwenna nôl at heddi yn amlwg bydd y sylw i gyd ar gyrdydd nhw yw'r pencampwyr. Ond maen nhw'n gwneud fi Tîm Wrexham bydd mwyn gorffen y tymor ar nod yn bositif. Bydd e na... Mewn ffordd, mae fe bach o marfer cyn e, gym rhwng derfynol nawr sydd dechrau mis mai. E, Mae nhw wedi cael tymor arbennig o dda chwarae teg. Mae nhw wedi profi lot o bobl yn anghywir. A fi'n credu fi ddim cyfle bach i nhw. Jyst falle edrych ar cwpl o partner iaethau gwahanol, falle system bach o mwahanol hefyd. A jyst ffordd, achos nhw'n byd ar y gym iddyn nhw, jyst bach o marfer fel wedi cyn y gym mawr yn y rhwng derfynol. Gan yna nhw ni drafod mwy yn y man, ond yn gyntaf beth am i ni glywed gan y tîmau, gan ddechrau gyda cyrdydd mae Hannah Power wedi bod yn siarad gyda hela dana. Hannah, here we are, last game of the season, title already won, so how have you approached this one? Yeah, we're approaching this as we've approached every game this season. We want to win, so we're going in, staying focused. It's great that we've already won the league, but it's not over. This game's still got to be done, so we want to win this and play the best that we can today. Yeah, how good will it to get the win to then celebrate that with the fans uh, here today as well as the title win? Yeah, it'll be amazing in front of the fans at the Cardiff City Stadium. You couldn't have asked for a better end to the season. So hopefully we get that win and we can celebrate even more then. Wrexham have got some strong players, threatening players. What are you expecting from them today? It's not going to be easy. No, definitely not. And we can't underestimate anybody either. So we know they're going to come out all guns blazing. They're going to want the win just as much as us. So we're expecting like a tough game, but hopefully we've practiced, we've focused this week. So that'll help us in this game. And also you're facing Wrexham as well in the cup final um, in a few weeks time. So how will this game maybe set you up for that one? Yeah, I mean, it's we've played them so many times this season. It feels like we're playing them every week. But, yeah, it's a great test today, you know, to help us prepare for that final in a few weeks' time. So, yeah, it'll be good to play against them and, you know, take what we can from today to help build that final. Yeah, maybe give the manager a few uh, selection headaches. Good luck. Thanks for your time, Hannah. Thank you. Ie, mae'r ffeinal yna mewn ychydig oedd nosau yn gadoi fod yn dipyn o achlysur. Ond gwenna'n llynedd cyrdydd yn ennill y gyngrair, ond cyn hynny, oedd rhaid nhw aros deng mlynedd ers i nhw ennill y dweitha. Ffaith bod nhw wedi wneud yna'r dwywaith yn olynol. Beth ti'n credu mae hwnna'n gweud nid yn unig am y tîm, ond o'r holl waith sy'n ymlaen tu ôl i'r llenni yn y clwb? Ie, okay, mae'n dweud llawer. Yn, yn gyntaf o ran y clwb, faint maen nhw wedi byd soddi yn amlwg i mewn i cael chwreiwyd newydd, y cytundebau newydd maen nhw wedi rhoi nawr, ond hefyd jyst codi syfonau, oddi ar y cae o ran y marfer, a ffaith bod nhw fy'n hyn yn gyson hefyd, so mae hwnna'n un peth, ond wedyn y chwreiwyr ei hun, um, tro, maen nhw'n dweud good teams win championships, great teams retain them, a fi creu mae hwnna'n rili bwysig, fi'n meddwl, pan ti'n ennill un, 
mae jyst yn rhoi bach fwy cymelliant a awch i ennill hynna arall achos bod ti wedi cael y teimlad yna ti moyn profi dy hynna'n tro o tro a codi i'r safonau a fi'n meddwl maen nhw wedi wneud yna yn y ffordd maen nhw'n chwarae, dwysedd chwarae dy bod yna'n benig o dda. Yn bendad. Gwen an diolch yn fawr iawn am y tro. Reit, beth am i ni clywed gan un o sêr ifanc tîm Wrexham, Lily Jones, wedi bod yn siarad gyda heledd. Lily, gem ol ar tymor yn erbyn y pencampwyr, dipyn o her ar eu tomen i hynna'n hefyd sydd ych chi'n teimlo'r gyfer hon? Dwi'n meddwl dan ni'n cyffroes mewn am byd, sy'n meddwl dos am byd yn rhaid ar y gemau ni. Jyst hapus i bod mewn a'r llwyfan fel ma, chwarae yn erbyn tîm gorau yn y gyngraid, mae'n siawns dda i ni profi yn hynna'n eto a gobeithio cymryd tri phwynt. A'r tymor gyntaf yn brif adran Genero, sut mae'r tymor di bod i chi? Dwi'n meddwl bod yn eithaf llwyddi annus, neud y gwir, sy'n meddwl ath yn ei cyflawni top 4 a dynedd yr eim, dwi'n meddwl iddyn ni. Ond ea, mae'n gyffroes i gael chwarae yn y gyngraid gorau yng Nghymru, dwi'n meddwl bod ni wedi bod eithaf da gobeithio neud yn well y tymor nesaf. Be ydy'r her fwyad ych chi'n ddeud o gystadlu yn y brif adran yma? Dwi'n meddwl bod safon gwell yn ddeud. Mae'n anodd chwarae yn erbyn tîm o'r gorau yng Nghymru, dwi'n meddwl. Ond dwi'n mwynhau, mwyn am byd. Be ydych chi'n disglo gan gair ddydd yma heddiw ta? Dwi'n meddwl bod yn gem gystad leol. Mae'n nhw'n gryf, mae'n nhw'n ffast. Ti'n gweld hynna'n canlyn ar ddyn oed. Ea, jyst barod am y battle, really, a gobeithio nawn ni'n gwneud o well, a dwi'n gwneud o blaen yn erbyn nhw. A all ar oes sylfaen i chi cyn wynebyn nhw'n rownd erfynol y gwpan? Ea, nid yna, mae'n fath â gem, gem practice cyn y gem fawr yn y gwpan wedyn. Um, so, yeah, Sio, fydd o'n fydd o'n ddau cael bach o mwy o wybodaeth amdano nhw ar un peth iddyn nhw, really, yn dy ddi. Um, Ea, yeah, ond rili really cyffroes mewn am byd. Diolch o'r iawn, y pob lwc. Diolch o'r Lily Jones and Barod Amdani Vashi. And in Barod Amdani, even here, your usual reminder that English language commentary is available. Ivan Gwilym is with former Wales international Katie Sherwood. And in the Gymrag, we have for their team, Danny Dixaith Cymru, Nia Davis, Gera Dylan Ebenezer. Good afternoon and welcome to the Cardiff City Stadium for the final game of the Janeiro Adran Premier season between Cardiff City and Wrexham. Today's hosts, Cardiff City, have already secured the league title and today they will get to lift the Adran Premier Trophy, that trophy there. A celebration then at the big stadium, second successive, second successive season that they've been done that here. Wrexham, the visitors, can also look back on a successful season. Newly promoted team have to give the top three finish in their first season back in the top flight. They've taken points off every club apart from Cardiff so far this season and have a chance today to complete the set and spoil Cardiff's title celebration party. Former Welsh international Katie Sherwood with me. Looking forward to a big occasion today, Katie? Yeah, it's always great to be a part of these big occasions, especially when there's going to be a presentation of a trophy. Uh, business as usual, I think, for Cardiff City here this evening, but looking forward to a really competitive game. Five changes for Cardiff since losing 2-0 to Swansea last Sunday. Captain Siobhan Walsh returns in central defence in place of Megan Bowen, who's with Wales in the 19s this week. Also in are Michaela Cook, Emma Bainer, Molly Keogh and Rhian O'Cleet, who scored 5-5 five five in the second phase of the season. Wrexham have won their previous two games, both against Aberystwyth, and there's three changes since their last victory. Phoebe Davis, Cara Jones and Mary Gibbard start. Yeah, and it looks as though Cardiff can be in that usual 3-4-3 formation with those three formidable centre-backs led by Catherine Walsh, um, Siobhan Walsh, sorry, and looking to really push those wing-backs on with Cook and Price to get into the game. Top goal scorer Eliza Colley and uh, Watkins and Bainham will be sitting in to protect that back three. Um, Wrexham, new formation for Wrexham. They're going to be looking to play with a, a back three this evening um, and a box midfield, trying to dominate that possession in those central areas and looking to release Rosie Hughes, the prolific goal scorer in this league this season. Bryn Markham Jones, the referee today for the big occasion. Siobhan Walsh and Karen Allen, the captains, shaking hands. Rosie Hughes there, number nine. Gunning for the golden boot. It's her and Eliza Colley going for it, but Lily Jones is a young player who's caught the eye for Wrexham. Yeah, she's an all-action midfielder. Two goals, six assists this season. She'll be looking to win that physical battle in midfield. She's very important in that link-up between defence into attack, and there'll be a, a great battle in those central areas this evening. And for Cardiff, 
and he said number 39 there, Eliza Colley. But on the far right there, Michaela Cook. She's another youngster for Cardiff who's made a mark after coming back from the end of 19s recently. Yeah, absolutely. Only 19 years old and very in form at the moment. She'll be playing in that wing back position where she's made her own this season. Three goals. She's absolutely flying in confidence. And you'll see her joining in in attack, but great engine, great stamina to get back and support the back three as well. So, yeah, two players who are very much in form. Cardiff were unbeaten last year, winning the title for the first time in 10 years. They haven't quite had it all their own way this season. They've lost twice to Swansea, but clearly a strong campaign and, and worthy winners at the end of the day. Yeah, it's, it's not easy to to win this league and to win it in two consecutive seasons just is testament to the quality but I think it's down to the recruitment from Ian Derbyshire they lost some players last season but they, they've also made some great signings so fantastic season for Cardiff City and uh, very much deserved an early throw for Cardiff an opportunity we said it's a throw in for Wrexham led by Steve Dale, the manager, and then it's Ian Derbyshire. Two wins in a row in the league. And of course, this year, they're still on for a treble. They've got the trophy final next weekend. That's against Swansea, and then a Welsh Cup final against Wrexham. And that's going to change the dynamics today, I suppose, Katie. As uh, we see an opportunity for Molly Keogh to counter. These two teams in four weeks' time are facing each other in the Welsh Cup final at Rodney Parade. Do you think that'll change the way either team approaches? We, obviously, we've seen Wrexham lining up in a different formation. Yeah, I think that's really brave by Steve Dale to, to change formation and to try something new. Like, for Wrexham, this game is just about putting right what they didn't do great against Cardiff in that 6-1 defeat so why not try something different ahead of that cup final Cardiff did manage to get the double last year won the Welsh Cup against Britain Ferry San Sawell an opportunity for Wrexham to have an early opportunity a goal Rosie Hughes can't quite manage to control the ball Watkins in the middle for Cardiff Distributing balls out wide to Michaela Cook. A danger on the left hand side. I could see her on the ball and now across. Well dealt with by Phoebe Davis. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about with Michaela Cook. Great pace, great stamina to get forward, and great deliveries into the box. But that's where Wrexham really need to be careful is on those transitions. They've had two great opportunities now with Cardiff giving the ball away didn't capitalise on it and then Cardiff City are on the break then so they've got to be really really quick in that transition first corner of the game and is the top assist the top creator Fionn Price can't get the cross in that time off the post well, Fionn Price having another great season yeah, she is very much the assist queen, isn't she? Great delivery. Likes to have a shot from distance as well. Yeah, it doesn't score many. She scored her only league goal against Wrexham this season. And Rosie Hughes caught offside there. Didn't quite manage to time a run properly. But that's what Rosie Hughes will do. She'll try and play in between the centre-backs there. It's very tight, but that just shows the danger that she can create with her pace. Just needs just to hold her line just a little bit, but she'll be looking to play off the shoulders of those three centre-backs and try and get in behind. Walsh clears. Up towards Rihanna Oakley. Watkins. Being on Carol. Get the ball to Fionn Price. He was already showing that she's a danger. Scored so many last year, 24 to win the Golden Boot in the Northern League. 
And she could win the Golden Boot today if she scores more than Eliza Colley. But Colley has an opportunity to close down on the Wrexham goal. Delth Morgan, to be fair, quick to react. And a throw for Wrexham. Keo. Oh, that's it. It's a free kick for Wrexham for that foul push in the back of Pritchard. But like you said, the league title has been decided, but the golden boot is not decided yet. So it'll be an interesting battle in these final games. You could yet see the winner come from a different game. Katie Hosford is tied with Rosie Hughes on 15 goals. Eliza Colley on 16. And uh, Amber Swift are hosting Swansea and Katie Hosford today. Good run by Michaela Cook. Keogh collects. Keogh still with the ball. Tries to feed Rian Oakley. Rian Oakley manages to get to the ball. And what a finish on a tight angle to open the scoring. After five minutes, Rian Oakley makes it 1 0. Yeah, I wasn't sure then if, if Oakley did creep into that offside position. I'd like to see that again, but it's great forwards play. All three forwards involved in that. Such a good run that Rian Oakley's on six in six in the second phase. But it's that tenac tenacity from Michaela Cook again. It's a great through ball. It's very, very close, but manages just to go around the keeper and then finish in that tight angle. It's about as close as it was for Rosie Hughes on the other side, other side of the pitch moments ago. Well, the linesman, he was very much in line with the play there. He has a better view than we do. But it's a great finish from a tight angle. Well, she scored from an even tighter angle against Swansea in the game to secure the title. She's been very dangerous in the second phase and she'll get another opportunity now. Rian Oakley, she's got two, three, waiting in the middle, can't get the pass to Evan Maynard. They do get a corner kick. And it's the exact same position that she's found herself in. The distances between the back four racks and they're, they're really, really big and it's allowing Cardiff City just to pick up those passes so easy. Good recovery in the end, but the danger signs are there early. Oakley has a chance to wait for the cross from Sam Watkins. Watkins, Walsh was the target. Found herself in some space, it was closed down well. Watkins again. Watkins with a cross. And it's out for another corner. There was three in the middle for Cardiff, Keogh and Smith closest to it. When that ball's coming in, you can see the blue jerseys that have stayed up and lots of free players at that back post there. Wrexham just not being able to organise themselves once they've cleared the ball. Price once again. Again, can't get the cross into the danger zone from this side. Pritchard can control the ball. It's a throw. Said in Watkins, she loves that physical battle. Very dynamic midfielder. Steve Dale will be very pleased with the season the Wrexham have had, surely, as a newly promoted team. Amazing how seamless the transition to the top flight has been been a great addition to the league, haven't they? Yeah, they definitely have. They've had a great season finishing in that, that top four position and then sealing third place. You know, when you're newly promoted into this league, that's not an easy thing to do. Oh, and an opportunity to draw level. But Smith with the opportunity, one side of the pitch, a minute ago. Clearing well from Rosie Hughes' is dangers. Yep, another mistake from Carter City that allowed Wrexham to get in but Rosie Hughes that, that's what she does she's always looking to capitalise on any mistake any through ball 
And she doesn't need many opportunities to get that ball in the back of the net. It'll be interesting to see how they kick on from... Well, usually a team would look to consolidate in this league after promotion. They've, they've done more than that, and the potential for them is quite high. Sam Watkins, the ball behind the defence. Del Morgan waits for it to come. It's fortunate maybe that Phoebe Davis is the one there. Phoebe Davis can't hold the ball. Carly with the pressure. Watkins out to Rihanna Oakley. Keogh's in the middle. Collie's in the middle. We'll go out for a goal kick. Yeah, good defending in the end from Captain Allen, just ushering her out of play. Good starting position from Morgan, just didn't make enough contact with the ball to clear her lines. But this is what probably is Wrexham's biggest lesson they've probably had in this league is you can't make mistakes. The margins are, are so small that in this league they will be punished and I think that's one of the things that have cost them the season but they've, they've had a fantastic season to finish third after being newly promoted I thought they were, it, they were going to find it more difficult but credit to Steve Dale for how he's put this team together and they'll definitely want to push on and improve their record next season Bait on out to the corner Oakley's there Karen Allen did well to usher that one out for a Wrexham throw Allen with the throw. It's gone all the way to Rosie Hughes. Keynes. Keynes, one of three additions to the Wrexham squad in January. Ball by Cara Jones. Can't quite get to Rosie Hughes. Rosie Hughes is clearly the, the target almost every occasion for Wrexham. The way Wrexham are playing, though, she is quite isolated. So it is important when the ball does go forward that she has players around her so that she can link up with. Walsh clears some pressure, starting to build on the back three for Cardiff, but as soon as it begins, it's dealt with. Chamberlain, goalkeeper for Cardiff. Chamberlain clears. Power. There is an offside flag. But that was much better press by Rex, and they're higher up the field. They're putting Cardiff under pressure. They made Cardiff play that long ball and lose possession. So it's, that's encouraging from them. Put them into pressure. Make them make mistakes. Keel back to power. And running out of space there. He has been an interesting addition from the Cayman Islands. Yeah, we talk about that recruitment by Ian Derbyshire, that she's been an absolute fantastic signing. It's good to have some a fresh injection of, of talent into the league because quite often well, quite easily can become quite stale in terms of the same players we're seeing. Yeah, well when Cardiff lost Phoebe Poole, I think there was a few eyebrows raised. Who is going to be that, that go-to person for Cardiff City? Um, but Eliza Colley, she's definitely stepped up to the plate this season. And then the, the additions of Molly Kehoe and some of the young players coming through. I think that's been the difference with Cardiff this season, the depth that they have. And I think that has added to them retaining uh, the title. Yeah, I was looking at in all competitions, 21 different goal scorers. There's certainly strength in depth in the Cardiff team. Wrexham is all about that one player, Rosie Hughes. Sees goal. Goes for it. Oh, it's Cara Jones, I'm afraid. Got excited. I see, I see a Wrexham striker going for goal. Yeah, but it's an opportunity, isn't it? Really positive. Definitely got to take an opportunity from there and try and test the goalkeeper. But again, capitalising on a Cardiff City mistake. Not the, the usual crisp passing. Um, and keeping the ball in possession. Cara Jones, one of, one of four players for Wrexham who's played in every game so far. 
Well, they've completed 20 games played. Rebecca Pritchard on the ball is another one, as is Lily Jones. Michaela Cook to the corner to Rian Oakley, the goal scorer. Corley and Keogh are arriving to support. And Oakley wins the corner. <laughs> Davis with the block. Yeah, it's great play from Michaela Cook. Again, that inside run. You almost thought she's asked too much of Rianne Oakley, but you know she has the pace to get on to the end of that ball. Good covering defence there from Phoebe Davis. Watkins going out to take the corner. Walsh gets the head to it. The captain. Yes, yeah, good delivery again. Not sure I've actually if that come off the back of a Wrexham head. Did look like as if uh, Mary Gibbard got the last touch. No big complaints from Siobhan Walsh, though, so it's just a sign that she probably did get the last touch. Hughes well, controls with the chest and Walsh straight through the back of it. I think she felt that. Yeah, I don't think there's any complaints there from Walsh. Really good play by Rosie Hughes. Just times her jump really, really well, trying to bring that ball down. Centre back always going to moan if the free kick is given against them. Corner kick. The free kick by Fuller. Power. Power does collect. Gets the ball to Sam Watkins. Watkins can't control. And Lily Jones with the shot in the end. Out to Fionn Price. Down the line. Corian Oakley to chase Oakley. Once again, she's got Collie and Keo waiting in the middle. Waiting. Out wide. For Michaela Cook. Cook. Well, approaches the box. Rebecca Pritchard says no further. Holds the ground very well there. Yeah, a really positive play from Cardiff City there. Oakley, she changes the point of attack to get Michaela Cook into play, but good defending in the end from Pritchard. Chamberlain far out from the penalty box. Bainan sees the run of Fionn Price. Doesn't get the pass to her. Morgan Smith stepping up from defence for Cardiff what's interesting as well in that Cardiff have managed to win the league the second year in a row and Wrexham or oh, Rosie Hughes closing down on Chamberlain Chamberlain again far out from the penalty box, she needed to be there with Rosie Hughes closing down on goal. Yeah, that's what you want from your goalkeeper. A good starting position. The modern day goalkeeper needs to be really good with their feet these days. It's like having an extra outfield player. Watkins. It's rid of the ball, but Cook can't retrieve. Keynes will try and put pressure on Holly Smith. It's the ball to Chamberlain. Clears to Kehoe. Turns. There's a slight hesitation. And then mistake with the delivery to Fionn Price out wide. And we see that opportunity for Rosie Hughes. Chamberlain away of the danger. Yeah, she had to be quick off her line there, didn't she? Rosie Hughes, very quick, very alert in those areas. Cook. Pass Pritchard. Ball towards Keogh. 
Here's a foul on Cook. Have another look at that. Not a great deal in it. Quite lenient there from the referee for an opportunity here for Cardiff City to put another set piece in. It's Watkins with delivery to the back post. And there's a flag up. And Fionn Price's celebrations kept short. It's a great ball in from Sarah Watkins. Deep delivery. Oh, it's another tight one. I say she's on. That's probably more on than Rian Oakley was. Yeah, it's really tight, isn't it? It's a great finish. Great finish from Fionn Price. Looks like she can't believe that. This is the offside. Now, from that still, it does not look like she was offside. It looks like the captain, Karen Allen, playing her on. Holly Smith was there as well, but I don't think any of the Cardiff players were more advanced than Fionn Price was. No, I think Karen Allen was the last player. Phoebe Davis down on the ground. You see a break while she gets treated. It's an opportunity, isn't it, for both teams just to have a little chat about what they can do better, what's going well. An opportunity for Wrexham just to catch their breath. And Bartley Bluebird with the Ayatollah entertaining the fans. Phoebe Davis is back on her feet. By the way, we are waiting for play to resume as we approach halfway through the first half. Davis waiting to come back on. A reminder that you can watch the highlights of all the weekend's action, this game and the coming Premier Games. Tomorrow night, 9.30 p.m., Michaela Cook with the cross. Sam Watkins, the Terrier, trying to retrieve the ball. Throw by Holly Smith towards Keo. For those not able to watch tomorrow night, the highlights, it'll be re-shown on Wednesday. It's usually re-shown on, on a Tuesday, but there's a big game for the Welsh team. Rian Wilkinson's new reign as Wales women manager continues with the game against Kosovo. So the highlights of that is on S4C on Tuesday night. Yeah, Wales got their campaign off to a great start, didn't they, on Friday? The 4-0 win over Croatia. Croatia. It certainly did. What do you make of Wales and uh, Rianne Wilkinson so far? Because obviously we've only seen one game, but in terms of what you've seen from her speaking and, and her reputation, it's an exciting time. Yeah, you know, when you look at Rian Wilkinson's CV as a player and as a, and as a coach, it's, you know, pretty remarkable. 181 caps for Canada and also as a coach, uh, she led Portland Thorns to um, w the NWSL Championship. So she comes with a, a huge CV. So hopefully all those experiences she had as a player and also as a coach, we can see that with Wales and hopefully qualify for her first major tournament. Fiam Price with a block there from Rosie Hughes' run. Hughes to Cara Jones. Lauren Price is in attendance today, the, the boxer, but former Wales international. 
Did you play against or with Lauren Price? Yeah, she was in the Welsh squad um, as a youngster. A very uh, physical centre-back. Wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. Um, she also played for Cardiff City. I think they, they, she was part of the team that won the league um, and went away to the Champions League with them. But just an absolute winner. Um, and I think we, we, we see that with their boxing. But um, a true professional and obviously very talented footballer um, and boxing. Yes. Know, massive support for Lauren and what's coming next for her. Yeah, going for a World Championship title. Some pressure on Chamberlain in the back for Cardiff City. Wrexham pressing, but Cardiff escape. Smith, perhaps happy just to get rid of the ball, but Ian Derbyshire asking for more, asking for his better. But but better from Wrexham. We want to have that aggressive press and put Cardiff under pressure. Force them into mistakes and win the ball back higher up the pitch. Allen with the throw. Up towards Brookins. And there's a push in the back from Holly Smith. Yeah, just a lack of discipline there from Holly Smith. Just got to hold her ground. Just gives away an easy free kick for Wrexham to create an opportunity. opportunity for a delivery for Wrexham score up top shows up Barry and drawing with Cardiff Met TJ Dickens with the cross Cardiff escape Wrexham retrieve the ball so the pressure's still there Lily Jones being pushed out a good pass down the line Mary Gibbard in the corner She's squeezed in there by Ollie Smith. Managed to get the ball past Smith, but Sen Watkins up there. Back to help out defensively. And Bain and clears. Up to Rian Oakley. Now wide. Price. Up to Carly will do well to get hold of that. Yep, that transition is really important for Rex. And when they lose that ball, they've got to recover really quickly, get numbers back to stop Cardiff from breaking quickly. But a really good passage of play there from Wrexham. Especially Lily Jones, very comfortable with the ball at her feet. Karen Allen. A oh, nice bit of skill by Breck Pritchard, but can't quite get it up to Rosie Hughes. Keo. Keo escaping from the defender. Gets it to Fionn Price. And can't get her shot on target. Like you said earlier, likes to try from distance, Fionn Price. Yeah, and it's great play from Fionn Price, actually. She's in that wing-back position, but she's kept up with play on the opposite side. And just opened up for her. She just couldn't get a good enough connection and that accuracy to put Morgan under pressure. Hughes will have another opportunity here to try and run behind the defence, but Siobhan Walsh is up to the task. Walsh up to Oakley. Oakley strong. Carly. Fionn Price asking for the ball. Price will get a chance to run. Phoebe Davis holds the ground. Oh, it's Lily Jones. Far side, sorry. Yeah, it's great covering there from Lily Jones. Phoebe Davis was pulled out of position and she's got back into that wide position. Beenan into the middle. And that deflected nicely for Cook. Hits the bar. What an opportunity for Michaela Cook. Wow, what a finish that would have been. Well, we identified her as a danger woman. And that was a dangerous shot. And that is a player who was full of confidence to do that. Great technique there from Michaela Cook. So unlucky. Right at the corner of the post and bar, Michaela Cook. 
half an hour gone. Cardiff not able to double their advantage there. Smith. Watkins. Power forced back to Chamberlain. Smith goes long. Keogh misjudges that. And a, a pull on the shirt. Called by Bryn Markham Jones. Free kick Wrexham. I don't think I've been at the Cardiff City Stadium when it hasn't been raining this season. I think I bring the rain with me. Or is it just Wales? I, I think it's, it's always likely, isn't it, that it's raining here. Smith, the header. <laughs> Unfortunate for Cardiff. Chamberlain beats Rosie Hughes to the ball. Watkins runs out of luck there. Too many reaction players. North Morgan clears. Power. Watkins collects. Cook ahead of it. Q inside. Keynes. It's really the ball, a wasted opportunity there by Keynes. He was just ahead of it. Yeah, that, that's not going to help your team out at all. You've just won the ball back. You just need a little bit more composure there, have an awareness of what's going on around you and keep the ball. Hughes, we know, can take her opportunities when they do come. Has been isolated in stages today yeah when you're in that position you're not getting enough of the ball you, you try to create your own look don't you and that's the kind of position that she's in at the moment Smith good work by Pritchard because Cook was behind Cook taking the throw quickly Cardiff trying to keep the pressure on not giving Wrexham time. Price ahead to Collie. Nice touch. Oakley collects. Oakley, a chance to pull it back. Actually, Oakley from those angles, happy to go for goal by now. Yeah, and again, another player who's full of confidence. Just a little bit disappointed there with Cardiff because only two players getting into the box. Lots of red shirts back defensively, but can they commit more players into the box and cause Wrexham? some problems you can see Ian Derbyshire he's, he's wanting more off his team and I agree Dickens pass intercepted by Cook it's back in Cardiff possession power Price a nice turn and the cross in to Collie Collie with the header and it's wide well the top assists with the cross to the top goal scorer for Collie. Can't get a header on target. Yeah, what a beautiful piece of play from Theon Price. Great awareness, bit of skill. She knows she has the space behind her. And this is what she does best, putting that ball in. Great delivery. Just couldn't direct it towards goal. But fantastic piece of play from Cardiff. Ball up to Rosie Hughes. She's got support by Gibbard and Keynes. Hughes, with a skill, trying to evade the captain, Siobhan Walsh. Across to Rebecca Pritchard and Chamberlain. Oh, collect easily there. Out of Pritchard's reach. Smith trying to clear, Brooke Keynes was there. And Smith, not for the first time, happy to just get the ball off the field of play. Brooke Keynes has been an interesting addition to the Wrexham team 
She's played every game since she start, she's joined in January. Former England youth international. Experience with Liverpool, Everton, West Ham. That's the kind of talent we want in this league. Yeah, and I, I really do believe the Wrexham are just two or three players away, two or three quality players away from really being able to challenge Cardiff and Swansea. It's interesting how things have changed a few seasons ago. The conversation didn't have Wrexham or Cardiff City in it, almost, because it was all about Swansea and Cardiff Met. And Cardiff Met, we saw them drawing currently with Barry, potentially could finish seventh in the league this season. Things have changed. Yeah, massively. Cardiff Met were the team that everyone was chasing. But lots of players have moved on, new manager... And they just haven't been able to find any consistency and they've got a very very young team so it's going to take time to rebuild what they once had been in to power price and that pass just behind power misjudged by Price Oakley to Watkins there's plenty of space for Cook Pritchard is ahead of it Cook steps inside and there's no going past Brookins there is a foul yeah, that's what Michaela Cook does really well she'll start at wide but she likes to drive inside because she's stronger on that right foot and she runs straight into a player but yeah, she, she does that really, really well. Quite a similar position. She hit the bar earlier. And she try and test Dallas Morgan with a shot. Kayla Cook once again going for that corner. And she does beat Dallas Morgan. Cook with a free kick. And it's 2-0. Great technique here from Michaela Cook. Ask questions, can the goalkeeper do better here? But fantastic technique. She gets her rewards. I think she's been really lively and energetic in these this first half. But that that is a great piece of skill. Well, that shot earlier definitely deserved a goal. Alex Morgan definitely wouldn't have had a chance to save if it was a few inches lower down you, you talk about a player in confidence confidence is massive um, in this game and just having she talked about having the coaches believe in her this season Cook with a cross this time McCauley and Oakley were there they couldn't get it towards goal there was a flag up on the far side either way yeah, it's a great delivery. Just bounces the wrong way, doesn't it? Yeah, but she, she's talked about, Michaela Cook, about just having the coach's belief in her and it's really helped her this season. And I imagine she's one of the, the first, first names on, on the team sheet for Ian Derbyshire this season. Yeah, 16. Well, this is a 17th appearance in the league out of 20 games for a player that's only just stepping up from the under 19s. I think last season was the first time she'd played for the first team. It's quite an achievement and shows that confidence and the trust, as you said. Well, one player on the opposite side was Siobhan Walsh there, the captain, in terms of experience. Sam Watkins, Cook on the outside. Not 
Atkins pushed back by Lily Jones. And she goes all the way back to Chamberlain once again. Quite comfortable leaving the goal. Emma Bainan. Behind the defence. Now Morgan comes out. It's Phoebe Davis. Karen Allen. Put under pressure by Keo. Pulled down. It's a free kick. Both look like they had a bit of a clatter on the floor there as they were coming down. Keo possibly hurting her shoulder on the way down. Both on their feet, thankfully. Karen Allen still looks as if she needs a moment to compose herself. That's Morgan. Long. And Chamberlain, once again, quite far outside of the penalty box. Yeah, Cardiff have played on a really high line, and a couple of times they've been caught off guard by that ball over the top. There's something that the three centre-backs need to be aware of. Rihanna Oakley. Oakley closing down on Fuller. Oakley pulls it back to Colley. Miss kicks and Keo. Good save by Morgan. Jason Cardiff looking to get their third. Delith Morgan stops well. Yeah, fantastic goalkeeping there from Delith Morgan. But again, Rihanna Oakley, what she does, she slows the player down and then she goes again, just gets the defender off balance. But that's a fantastic save from Delith Morgan. It was an important touch there by Karen Allen as the cross came in. That's why Eliza Colley couldn't get a connection. Fionn Price right into the middle. Walsh is there. Colley with a shot. Price will collect. Watkins. Watkins is going to go for goal. And Morgan pushes it out for another corner. Yeah, the pressure's definitely on at the moment for Wrexham. It's another opportunity for Sarah Mocking. She loves the shot from distance as well. But good goalkeeping there from Delith Morgan. Yeah, she was shortlisted for goal of the month back in October with a, a goal from probably further out. Fionn Price. Walsh is there. Bit of a panic in the back for Wrexham there. Walsh with the final opportunity. The, 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 corner. the three corners that Fionn Price have, have had, three of them have gone at that front post. I'm not sure if it's something that Cardiff City have been working on, but it seems to be causing Rex and some problems. Yeah, that one certainly did. Is Sam Watkins taking them on the far side? Watkins to the six-yard box and Walsh off the post. The captain with the third. Siobhan Walsh with a sixth goal of the season. Such a danger from set pieces. As we approach half time, it's starting to look comfortable for the champions. Yeah, it's a lofted ball in from Sarah Watkins, and it's great determination there from Siobhan Walsh to get to the ball first. Great technique to get the ball back across the goal. In a difficult position, she's ahead of that front post as well. So to get the ball from that angle back across. And for a centre-back, she scores goals. She's, she's delighted with that one, isn't she? Approaching half time in Derbyshire, starting to be happy now, I imagine. He's been demanding more from his team throughout this first half. 
What does Steve Dale say at halftime? We may see a, a formation change, something that they're a bit more comfortable with. They've got to stop the deliveries coming in. They've got to stop. It's too easy for free on price on the oh. front three to get in. Okay, out to Keo. Who's offside? Opportunity goes there. But again, Cardiff City looking dangerous. And they're starting to look more and more comfortable in this game. Yeah, I think Wrexham, they need to protect those wide areas better to stop those deliveries coming in. One minute to be added. Walsh clears up towards Keo. For a throw, Karen Allen grounded, but it's a throw in. Pritchard will take. I think Braxton would have been under no illusions that it was going to be a tough task coming here today, knowing that Cardiff were going to be lifting the trophy and would have wanted to put on a show for their fans. But they just got to keep their heads up, start again in the second half, and come out fighting. And um, perhaps that's what will be said by Steve Dale at half-time because that is the half-time whistle Rian Oakley opening the scoring for Cardiff and then it's those two late goals in the sec in the first half that makes it 3-0 and a bit more comfortable for Cardiff against Wrexham Diolch yn fawr i ni a Adelan am y tro, felly dyma canlyniadau eraill y prynhawn ar hyn o bryd. Mae'n ddysgorong Aberystwyth ac Abertawag wedyn yn y pedwar eitaf y Saint Newydd ar y blaen o gôl i ddim yn erbyn pont y pridd ac mae hi'n un yr un rhwng y bari a met cyrdydd ar hyn o bryd. Reid fi'n genfi genus iawn o helen Anna nawr achos mae hi gyda un o fy hoff athletwyr i o Gymru. Mae hi yng Nghymru y bocsiwr ac hyn chwreiwr cyrdydd a Gymru, Lauren Price. Dwi'r. Lauren, it's so nice to have you here watching the game as a former Cardiff City player, of course. What have you made of that first half, which is great for Cardiff? Yeah, brilliant half, 3-0 up. Uh, I, miss, I missed the first goal, but the second goal, you know, free kick, uh, wonderful goal. And yeah, like you said, hit the crossbar as well. And Wrexham, I, th I don't think they've had a shot on target. So yeah, Cardiff playing really well. And how nice will it be to get to celebrate the title win with the fans here at Cardiff City Stadium? How special will that be for Cardiff today? Oh, it's brilliant, you know, great support as always coming out, you know, at Cardiff City, very close to my aunt as well. It's great to see the girls got support here and like I said, they, you know, they're showing off their talent today, playing wonderful. And uh, am I right in saying that you were part of the Cardiff City team to win the title back in 2013 and beat Wrexham? What are your memories of that day and that season? Yeah, 2013, that seems like a long time ago now. But yeah, I remember playing on this uh, pitch, beating Wrexham, lifting the trophy and then going to Champions League in Bosnia. So great memories. I've played on here for Wales as well, international level. So yeah, like I said, great memories. Yeah, and they're going for the double this season, of course, or the treble, maybe if they get all the cups as well. Um, but let's turn to your current career then, boxing. You've got a fight coming up, a huge fight uh, coming up, your seventh professional fight. How have you found the last two years of professionalism? Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I feel like, you know, um, each each fight I've stepped up and this is my toughest opponent to date. You know, she's a legitimate champion going in there against unified world champion. But, you know, turning over as Olympic champion, I wanted to move be moved fast and I believe I get that win. So I'm over the moon, you know, the amount of tickets I've sold and the support I've got coming from my Welsh fans and uh, I can't wait to put on a show. How special will it be to, to fight in Cardiff as well? And even more special, if you win, to become the first Welsh female boxing champion? Oh, it'd be a dream come true, you know. I've said when I turned over pro, I said I want, want to fight for world titles, I want to become a Welsh legend, and I want to bring big-time boxing back to Cardiff. And uh, this fight, you know, it's, it's a great fight to be made, and I'm really looking forward to it, I'm really excited. 
Yeah. Have, do you um, hope to be able to box here at the Cardiff City Stage in one day, maybe? Do you know what? That's, yeah, I, I said earlier, you know, it'd be great. You know, this is my first out as world champion. And if I can get the fans on board and, you know, sell this, sell this out, like I said, it'll be a night, you know, they'll, they'll top everything and be a dream come true. Well, good luck for that fight on May 11th. And it's lovely to have you here. Deal, Chloran, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, my mark cool. Now give you a four block and Var E Lauren and Erbin Jessica McCaskill and Ror Nestana are in vet are they go by? Quite anti fan or boxer? I do, yeah. We could beat them in. My depending on our team, as we ask them round to run coming in with them and ask them bend over them in. Well, nothing right. Black Ivy and right because the other car is centre half. Didn't didn't see them on your view, perhaps. So now the other car is centre half. He came in. I'm looking at him. Car land and Erbin in a mark. Fair nothing right. Big elbow view and it's like oh, right, so, yeah. I'll be. Oh, the more feisty Britney, am I now? Oh, the great rag, da. Oh, yeah, great rag. Yeah, good film called Four All. So, if I say we see back the header and I got Ashland or Kevin got a pill or not, then that young got Four All young. I then pity well the summer them line on just a bit my dinner. Da, she's in Dangos, but she got a brace on. John, Karen, Danny, I'm my need go my to eat Gumri. I keep very good even Gumri. I'm it. Yeah, I'm a very more special dealing. Garva Lauren, he's in him. Right, no, after him, I'm going to be so the Argraf Yanta is your Hannah Quintana. The only place could have him and his gun to add a crayad a wedding ran for his pet just deck a compo. Um, he wrecks how many medal of the, the gold gun to just the daughter and add a gang ho in a dathe or see a gang gun yard. I had sneak, I did just some really pop at the tempo. Uh, he be in person, I'm on a guanith row and a doy said quare, all the Arab bill, um, a Arab bill, rung a thy team on a medalvred to squal, but wrecks him just no, no, we net edgy viva, but no, I've needed much. Okay. Cerdi ddar y blan o dair gol i ddim, neu ni gael cipolog ar y gol gyntaf, Rian Oakley gwenan benestri o'r gol yma. Ie, yeah, jyst yn gweld y cwbl o'ch rhai wedi rhexi'n diffyg cyfathrebu a dyn cael eu dilyn mewn a wedyn. So, ti'n gweld, mae Del Morgan dŵr oddi ar y llinell, mae'r gyflym yn gallu. Gallu hyd i dalllun e'n gynharach, falle, yeah. a wedyn ydy hi'n gallu mynd i llawr, ond fi credu falle cyflymder Oakley yn, yn toillo hi on... Mae nhw'n dod, mae nhw'n trin, mae pedr yn erbyn dai fyna o South Point mm. am ddiffynol Wrexham, so mae angen nhw edrych ar y... Um, rang yn rhedrych ar just bethau sy'n mynd o le, faint o le maen nhw'n rhoi i gael dydd yn y lle gyntaf sy'n achosi problemau can nhw yn y sefyllfaedd yna Ie, yeah, mae'n mosod cyrdydd Ben doedd wedi bod yn ben tost i ymddiffyn Wrexham a wyddwn ni gwenna'n geithio ni'r ail gol yma gan Michaela oh. Cook oedd hon yn diffyn o gigrydd yn gadi O, oh, i ddechrau at ti, oedd hi'n rili, rili agos cyn gall hi ergyn dod oedd hi ar y postyn um, just a hyder i cymryd yna, hyder yn y, y dathliad hefyd, oedd hi'n llawn heiddi i'r fath o ddathliad. Just a ffordd mae'n i... Ti, ti gallu gweld bod hi'n ymarfyd yna, yn sicr. Jo, yeah. A ffordd mae'n rhedeg lan. Ond ni mae'n gofyn beth am y dechneg mae hyd i wso i gymryd y gicrydd? Ie, yeah, well, mae'n, mae'n cross, really, rhwng dod gyda'r... Um, ti fewn y troi, da fel Cromani yn llwyr, ond gyda'r bach o'r fel y nycol bol techneg. Mae oedd okay, Ronaldo yeah. wedi dod mewn, mae fe bach o hanner a hanner o'r reina. Ti gallu gweld dyna pan mae'n symud a toillo Del Morgan yn, yn yr awyr. Mm. Ond mae'n sicr yn, yn, yn ymarfer yna. Ddi'n heiddi y cyfle i cymryd o'n i'n teimlo, a dros oh. Fion Price. A beth ydy'n lecco? Fion Price oedd y gyntaf i fyny dathlu gyda hi hefyd, oedd yna'n anneis. Dath y drydedd gol wedyn Jess Cain hanner emser. Pwy arall ond Siobhan Walsh, gwenna'n un i wastrod yn gallu dibynnu arni hi yn y fath yma o sefyllfa. Ie, yeah, maen nhw'n edrych amdan i hi yn gyson nag nhw, a oedd hi wedi cael penny ar cwpl o nhw, falle jyst diffyg pŵer. Bydd fi'n rili hoffi i'w, jyst awch chi cael ar draws y postyn gynta a, i curo ar amddiff yn raig fy'n hyn. A jyst yn cael y cyffyrddiad bach wedyn i, i cyfeirfe nôl at y postyn bell, oedd Del Morgan gyda, gyda dim gobaith, ond... Et o saf pwy'n mwnec yn rhyw beth ti'n gallu ysgoi, ble mae'r person ar y postyn yn wneud y sioe. So, mae yna, fi'n rili hoffi'r ffaith maen nhw wedi bod yn rili positif heddiw yn y, yn y system chwarae. Yeah. A maen nhw wedi gwasgu ni chael. Ond fi creu fydd nhw'n dysgu lot yn amddiffynol, mae'n ma lot gormod o agleoedd ar hyn o bryd. Yn bendan, so gwenna'n diolch yn fawr am y tro. Fel i ni wedi sôn, dyma yw diwrnod ôl ar tymor o ran y gyngrair, ond dydd sîl nesa rown derfynol, tlws a dran genero. Rhwng cyrdydd ac abertawau cyrdydd yn gobeithio wneud y dwbl penwthnos nesaf. Mae hwnna'n fyw dydd sîl nesaf am bump o'r gloch yn fyw ar lein. Ond mae heddi'n ddiwrnod sbesial iawn i glwb pêl-drod cyrdydd, a mae'na ddau berson sbesial iawn yn cael rhyw cwmni nawr i heledd. Oes wir, mae Tia Richardson a Mike Thomas yr cadeirydd yn Cadw Cwmni. Mike, I'll start with you. Um, you've been a part of this club since the beginning, haven't you? So how special is it to see uh, the girls lift the trophy uh, for two seasons running? Well, it's very special. I mean, 
they start out at, at the beginning of every season with hopes and ambitions and all excited. And to have worked so hard and to have achieved it twice, it, it, it's not by fluke, it's hard work. So I'm absolutely thrilled and extremely proud. And what does it say about the hard work that's been done behind the scenes at Cardiff City here as well? Well, that's, that's what people don't see, is, is the graft put in by the coaching staff um, and the, the girls themselves, you know, week in, week out, three nights a week they're training, plus the game on the Sunday. You know, it's, it's a commitment, it's a real commitment. And I, I can only emphasise how proud I am of that effort that they put in and now they're reaping the rewards. Yeah, and the final game of the season, uh, Tia, it's going to be nice to be able to lift that trophy in front of the home fans here. Yeah, it's going to be um, very exciting actually. It's my first time lifting the trophy at Cardiff City, so yeah, I'm extremely proud of all the girls and all the staff included. Yeah, and your return to Cardiff City this season, uh, obviously an injury uh, wasn't what you were hoping for during the season, but how is that knee injury going in the rehab? Yeah, obviously, um, nine weeks ago, obviously, I did a knee injury. Um, it was a tough one to take, so uh, phase one went well for me. Um, obviously, unable to play phase two. But uh, rehab's going well, I'm in the second week, and obviously, it's a long rehab, but it is what it is. Yeah, and, oh, well, we're uh, looking forward to seeing you out back there um, as soon as possible. Um, and with with the final game of the season, there's a cup game as well. There's two, well, there's a trophy game and a cup game to come. Uh, Mike, how special would the treble be for Cardiff City? Well, it's sort of dare to dream stuff, isn't it, really? I mean, we came close last year. Only a Tia Richardson-inspired Cardiff Met spoiled the party for us and um, uh, Cardiff Met beat us in, in, in the trophy final. But... I, I, we've got to go into every game fancying our chances to win. We, I, I think we're the best team in the league, and I, I, I think, you know, to beat us, you've got to have a really good day. Yeah, well, you, you've seen how good Cardiff are in this first half, uh, Tia, and how determined are you as players to get that treble this season? Very determined. Obviously, myself, obviously, I'd love to see the girls lift the treble this year, but also for the girls, they really deserve it. I mean, it's been a phenomenal season for them. Uh, they've done it once, obviously, so they're going to get the league today. Um, every other game now is the cup final, so yeah, hopefully, we'll get the three. So, yeah, Mike, thanks for your time. We'll let you get out of this rain because it's coming down quite heavy now. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, dear Hila, the Nigir, that's good at Amberel, that's for a rec, was my name, North Ochor, a cat, right, going on, my dear boy, and Uthnas Vaur, E. Dim, Runglador, Merched, Camrimi, the Crosha, Beder, Goal, E. Dim, and he drabbed on a minute, on an insone, Kenna game, Sophie Ingle, well, I know what the Onantori, Bohemian, Gamila, Vel, Captain Camry, now I'm not here, well, my dear boy, Captain, I'm now I'm not there, but I do a back of shock. Real or now with Penod now with Tim Lavello Bossip, and I'm Sariani Gamila, or Sadina Staria Nade of Pendervania. Yeah, if you credit anybody but Mel, I'm a couple of Visa, so I think Tame not how now the Ramps have got it. If you credit the medal or I'm getting now with our five foot real like now with other shocky bow, Panaf Gemma Green, Chicala, so he's a Norway. I think just in Tame Lavo, some of them lying now, could I am getting now with so done up to the Ramps have got it. Belly great, V. I'll be credit to our Arash. Um, the Makatino, my EDR one came in for more more than just an unveiled dig. Mlanez, Oistic Tree game for captain. Mahona and Anne Hagal. We met the Glee of Pamela and I was in cap just glad he didn't get somewhere in a couple of weeks. And he added one glad he just thanks Pamela special. Who he felt for a rag. And Bentan, for well, is he so not game? Kintar and Gerchen Ervin, Croatia, and also in our Archairas, Cambrian, and Nitho now bids at Goli, the Nimigal Kipolog, our Golia Igi, the Gwenan Hono, the Dechreat Perfet, Irian Wilkinson. Oh, that Dechreat Perfet is game vids, a hus, a gold gun, a wasser, and help be just a settler on there by a foreign as a newcomer, a Golia, just a Kafir's yard, and fish lots of well. Savon, Echav, um, I went in Pavel Gemma Evans from him. Um, because he, well, do your sister and So, yeah, the great old place you're in a foreign national quarry, so I'm going to off, can like can head like Gallet, you're in a bit team wise in a group A. Her hot love hand on love and him, blame a new fever and a new cattle, gweld my avid for pale. A voyo head and I'm a sod on, you got his summit, Hray with crash at the lay of any got a father new camera down, who found her dead. Um, Rachel Rowe and Hannah Poppeth. Mm. I don't know if you're going to play a game, or something like that. What's the other one you're going to play there with? No, you're going to fish lock because the rest of the day guy on us. Yeah, Rowe back and Hannah Lucas. Um, on, on her really good, I'll play with Alex and Hannah Scorsi, Tevid, from mm. Papa Vell and Hannah James and Cavrani. Rubeth, who game he, Hoffman, he gweld and that pluggy. I heavy the captain, Nessav, Poyoid, if you met the Bottini, not right. Dulce Borda and Sikir, 
un o'r enwau mwyaf i ddod at, at fem yn personol. Mae'n nôl at nos wyneb. Nes i sylwi unrhyw beth yn wahanol am Gymru o ran, oedd e fel sy'n nhw mar gyda bach fwy o ryddid sy'n gyda'n erbyn Croatia. Ie, yeah, bydd credu achos maen nhw yn cyngroed, ba maen nhw'n chwarae'n erbyn grŵp o team oedd nawr sydd yn, yn mynd i bod falle yn eistedd nôl lot fwy, so mae'r her lot yn haws yn y modd yna, ran sydd yn gymaint o problemau am ddiffynol gyda nhw. Ond mae'n nhw wedi'n delio gyda ar team oedd sydd mewn low block yn mwyn anodd, rhywbeth sydd wedi struggle gyda ni teimlo fel oedd. Falle bach fwy o, o symudiadau, um, ond bach fwy fluid yn yr ymosod, na ni wedi gweld uh, o dan Granger yn personol. Maen nhw'n teithio i Kosovo, dydd mawr. Ni'n mynd i gael cipolog ar y tabl o ran y sefyllfa yn y grŵp. A gwenna'n pam o'r bwysig yw e, bod nhw'n adeiladu ar y fydd y goliaeth yna dros Croatia. Holl bwysig, achos Ukraine sydd yn mynd i bod o rai sydd yn herio'n mwyaf. So mae'r mae tri echaf yn mynd i mynd trwy ddo i gemau ail gyfle, ond mae'n holl bwysig bod nhw'n ennill y grŵp. So mae'n cael chwech pwynt o, o'r ddau gem gyntaf. Mae'n mynd i adeiladu momentwm, cymryd pwyso oddi arno nhw, ond maen nhw wedi'n gallu adeiladu mewn i'r gem Ukraine yna gyda llawer fwy o hyder. Ac fe fydd holl uchaf bwyntiau y gym yna yn erbyn Kosovo a'r Esbrerec nos fawrth am wych o'r gloch. Rwy'n gwenna nai adeli ti fi nolan i'r pwynt sylwe fi'n i'n barod am yr ail hanner fan hyn yn y brif ddinas, felly nol a ni at dylan ni a gwenna. Welcome back. It's a rainy capital city, but Cardiff are a happy team at the moment. They're 3-0 up against Wrexham, the visitors. And I wonder what has been said to these women in red at half-time. Remember, of course, that these two are playing against each other in four weeks' time on the 5th of May at Rodney Parade at Newport in the Welsh Cup final. So this is a, an hors d'oeuvre for that, as well as a curtain closer for the league. Wrexham, kick us off. And at half-time there, we heard Gwenan and Seaned talking about the Wales women's team and the game they've got coming up against Kosovo and the fact that Sophie Ingle will not be captain for those games. She stepped down as captain, she's still be playing. Katie, what did you make of that decision? Yeah, come, come as a shock, really. Not something that I expected um, as we're in the campaign already. Um, but obviously, it's a decision that Sophie would never have taken lightly. You know, she was captain at 23, such a young age. Um, it's a huge role, isn't it, on and off the pitch. But like she said, there's many leaders in that team um, and she feels maybe now is the time to to hand the captaincy to someone else while she's there to lead them and guide them. A very selfless move by Sophie, but that is the sort of person that she is. So, who, yeah. Who would, you, who would you go for in terms of the leaders there? Oh, it's a tough one, isn't it? Um the obvious one that jumps to mind is Ang Harrig James or a Hayley Ladd. Um, I did mention on Friday night that a future captain I do see is definitely Lily Woodham, but that, it's a, too soon. Um, and also Rianne Wilkinson, she hasn't been there a long time yet, so she doesn't even know her players that much to, to make that decision. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Ang Harrig James or, or Hayley Ladd taking the role. But, yeah, I, I am shocked but Sophie's been a fantastic servant for, for Wales and she's been a fantastic leader. Um, and it, that, that just shows that the sort of person she is. I was thinking of the team. Um, but congratulations to her for 83 games as captain. That, that's incredible. Kind of putting pressure on Wrexham early on in this second half. Price, happy to switch. To the other side, where Michaela Cook scored the second goal, can't retrieve the pass. Ian Darbyshire is getting very wet there. No, not even a hood on Ian Darbyshire. It looks as though Raxon's gone into a back four now. The the fullbacks have dropped a little bit deeper. Hannah Power, some space. Forward to Keo. Price is ahead of it. Keo. Well. Keo, once again. Watkins. Again, tenacious midfielder. Brian Oakley. Cardiff keeping possession. Emma Bainan. Wrexham standing their ground. 
Debbie Davis out to Fionn Price. It's just always picked up by Cardiff players. All play so far in the first three minutes. Been in this half. Oakley goes behind Karen Allen. Off Morgan clears. Hughes can't get the pass on the corner to Jones. Phoebe Davis dances past two. And slides in to get the ball into Cardiff half. Chamberlain to Smith. Plenty of space for Cook, but Smith can't get the pass. Pritchard to Hughes. There's a slip by Smith. Brooke Keynes. Keynes switches. Can't quite get the pass to a Wrexham player. I feel as if the rare opportunities like that, the Wrexham will have, they need to be taken. Yeah, it was an opportunity because actually Hannah Power, she was out of position, she pushed forward and they had the numerical advantage, Wrexham, they just couldn't capitalise on it. No foul here. Strong tackle by TJ Dickens. And uh, a test there on Callum Chamberlain, dealt with. Walsh still feeling the effects of that tackle by TJ Dickens. Gibbard does well under pressure there. Gets the ball back to Phoebe Davis. Hughes turns. Can't connect well. Oakley now for Cardiff at the other end. Oakley, Collie's in the middle. Oakley, Keo slips as she goes for that ball. And Wrexham can breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah, just wanted Oakley just to play that ball then sooner into the box. She held onto it for a second too long, just make the decision because Keho, she had plenty of, of space there to hit her first time. Could have she played that ball sooner? and giving Kehoe a better opportunity. Just loses her, her fitting in the end in the box. Good skill by Phoebe Davis. Power all the way back to goalkeeper. Chamberlain makes a change to see her in the penalty box. Smith. I think both teams can be better in possession, just sloppy parties being given away. Beaton. Beaton in the middle. Watkins is there to collect for Cardiff. Gibbard. Pass picked up by Hannah Power. Oakley. Pass Davis. Oakley still going. Gets the pass to Eliza Collie. A Collie gets to it. Collie collects again and with the shot puts it in for a fourth and her 17th goal of the season seventh time against Wrexham as well she enjoys playing against this opposition and taking advantage there of a mistake in the back yeah and who's at the, the thick of it again is Rihanna Oakley just gliding through with the ball great strength here Eliza she doesn't give it up and finishes into an empty goal. But Rianne Oakley, I think she's been the difference here this evening, picking up those great positions. She loves those 1v1s. And Eliza Colley picks up her 17th goal. Delif Morgan, she's trying to come out there and, and affect the, the pass coming through. But it's those mistakes that have been the difference, I think with Wrexham competing against the, these top teams, Cardiff and Swansea, this season. I was just checking to see what Katie Hosford was doing at Park Avenue, Aberystwyth. She's not scored, which means that it does look like Eliza Colley will secure the golden boot for the season. She's two ahead of Rosie Hughes and Katie Hosford as it stands. There's a substitution. 
TJ Dickens coming off and Annie Small the third of the new additions for Wrexham in January coming on She's Rosie Hughes coming off as well Amber Lightfoot coming on well, Wrexham's top scorer heading straight in to the changing rooms I hope that's not too much of a concern for Steve Dale. Yeah, hopefully it's just an opportunity for Steve Dale to give some of the players some time and show what they can do. Obviously, all these players are playing for their places for the Welsh Cup final that's coming up in May. Yeah, that's likely to be a, a good occasion. You know, another chance to play in a big ground, but also you know, a National Cup final is always a special occasion. Yeah, and again, we have to credit Wrexham. This is their first season in the Adrian Premier. They finished top flight, sealed their third place and also found themselves in a final. That, that's an incredible first season. I actually spoke to Lily Jones um, at the Wales game on Friday and she was almost a little bit disappointed with their finish. And I said, you have to put things in perspective. This is your first season in this league. It's tough to come in and to adjust to this standard. And I think Wrexham have done that really, really well. Well, Cardiff are the standard bearers. Cook with a cross. Cook will collect again. Cook twists and turns and wins a free kick. And ominously, it's from this position that Cook herself scored the second goal. I wonder if we'll see another attempt. I think Fionn Price just made a beeline for that ball as well. They both like a set piece. It's good to see Rosie Hughes back out on the bench. She's not gone in to get treatment. Fionn Price goes for goal. Can't keep it on target. Yeah, just couldn't bring the ball down there. But Fionn Price, she does love a set piece. She'd love to find herself on the score sheet. Amazing, she doesn't find herself on the score sheet more often, really. Just the one goal this season in the first game against Wrexham in phase one. Molikio to Fionn Price. Fionn Price once again goes for it, can't keep a shot on target. She's got a hat trick against Aberystwyth in the trophy semi final. A hat trick of fantastic goals they were, too. Yeah, good play again from Sarah Mockins, able to switch the point of attack. And she's only got one thing on her mind, hasn't she? A little bit ambitious from that angle and from that distance. Pritchard. Towards Jones. Jones in the absence of Rosie Hughes the second top scorer for Maxim. Seven goals so far. Pritchard. And Walsh will try and shepherd that out. Carl Jones doing well. Keep the pressure on. Lily Jones. Kind of clear up towards Eliza Colley. Karen Allen clears strongly. Two live games next weekend. First up, Hanford West versus Colin Bay. Hanford West going for seventh. Colin Bay looking to survive and stay in the Cymru Premier. That's lunchtime on Saturday. And then Cardiff City looking to do a double with the trophy final against Swansea. And that's live at five o'clock next Sunday, the game at Pennebont. Part two of their treble campaign. And although it can easily be a treble, it could also be that all three trophies go to different places. Swansea beaten Cardiff twice. Could easily do it again next 
week yeah, that's, in the trophy. That's going to be a really competitive game. Big rivalry between the two teams. Like I said, Swansea, they've beaten Cardiff in the last two two games. So it's going to be a real close one. Foul by Lily Jones. Wrexham, obviously, the other ones who could spoil the treble campaign for Cardiff. And the way it looks at the moment, that looks the least likely of the party spoils. Cross in by Cardiff. Beanon took a time to go for that one. And Wrexham are the ones countering. Amber Lightfoot. Lightfoot hesitated with the pass. Brooke Haynes back to Small. Wrexham with Pritchard with a cross towards Lightfoot. Oakley. Oakley crossing the line there with the foul. Yeah, Amber Lightfoot, she's looked really lively, hasn't she, since she's come on. She's an attacking threat for Wrexham. Just on that previous piece of play, she just needed to release the ball a little bit sooner to give Wrexham with a chance of really attacking Cardiff. Lily Jones. Molly Smith clears. Hasn't gone far. There's a chance for Lily Jones. To collect, she'll throw in quickly. Davis towards to Jones. Davis to Gibbard. Cock to Keo. A good touch. It's gone to Oakley. Oakley Keo's to her right. Collie ahead of her. Collie. Collie on the hour mark. Nearly makes a five. But a good work by Delft Morgan. Come out quickly. This would have been a fantastic team goal. Great combination play going from left to right. But it's a good save in the end from Delft Morgan. Quick off a line again just to close that angle down. Collie looking to finish the season. In style. Sam Watkins with the corner. Watkins right onto Delph Morgan. Beanon nearly on Smith. He's got it forward to Walsh. Keo is driven out by the Wrexham defence. Small still continuing with the run. That's a bounce kindly for Kellen Chamberlain. Cook. Kind of go back to the keeper again. Yeah, it's, it's just patient play from Cardiff, isn't it? Sometimes that's what, what you need, just to keep the ball, compose play, don't need to rush it. And then just find your moments then to attack the spaces. Price calls for the ball. Watkins. Price once again calls for the ball out wide. Has to come in to collect. Power. Cardiff doing well to keep possession and they'll get a free kick. And there is a substitution coming on Walklet, who left West Brom this season. Basham is coming on as well, Olivia Basham, the 18 year old. And Keo coming off. And Rianne Oakley as well. Rianne 
as you said, been a real danger for Cardiff. Yeah, and this once again just shows the strength in depth that Cardiff City have when you're able to take off players like Molly Kehoe and Rihanna Oakley. And also introduce some youngsters, or youngster, should I say, in Olivia Basham. Auckland. Almost straight away the substitute. And Basham almost collecting the crumbs. The pass to Collie. And she clattered with Morgan, who stayed down. So even if that, that had fallen nicely for Basham, I don't think that would have counted. Yeah, it's a great little ball through, isn't it? Brave goalkeeping here. Just not sure she's caught late there. Seems to be like she's holding her, her face. Five hundred and fifty here, apparently, we're hearing. And we're here to see the celebration at the end, the trophy lift. That's what they're here to see. But they're seeing quite a good performance by Cardiff as well. Yeah, I think what we're seeing here this evening is why Cardiff City are back to back winners. They've really shown their, their quality how well they keep the ball and how clinical they are. And I think that's, that's been the difference this season. They've been really clinical, really ruthless. A reminder that you can see that Welsh Cup final, the Boot Energy Welsh Cup final between Wrexham and Cardiff on the 5th of May. And you can see it on S4C as well as online platforms where you can catch Scorio. But cup final games are always different, different mentality, different different ground to play at neutral ground. It's a one-off game. And Wrexham have got four weeks to prepare without any distractions. Cardiff have a trophy final in the meantime. And Wrexham's focus after today turns to that Welsh Cup final. Yeah, and I'm sure Steve Dale will really dissect this game and analyse where Wrexham can make improvements and how they can test Cardiff in the cup final and, and so they don't have it all their own way. We, we want to see a really competitive game. So they've got four weeks, like you said, to prepare for that. Cardiff afterwards, obviously, will be turning their sights to Champions League. Only last season, disappointed with losing to Gintra from Lithuania. As Cook battles for the ball and concedes the free kick, despite her protests. But that Champions League success is, is the thing missing as well from a Welsh perspective, isn't it? We've got Cardiff, Wrexham and Swansea, three teams moving to semi-professional status in this league. We've had a season of it now. Do you think that'll help? when we come to the summer and Cardiff and their European adventure? Yeah, it has to. They're, they're training um, more times a week. They're, they're together more in the week doing things like strength and conditioning, analysis, things that they weren't doing previously because now they have the time to do it. So hopefully with, with those changes, we can see the gap being closed a little bit when, when teams go and play in Europe. Hopefully they'll have a good draw as well. Um, yeah, hopefully they, they can do better. There's an offside flag. Than what they did previously. Let me see the offside call again. Wrexham have taken the free kick quickly. But what that means is there's another Cardiff attack coming quickly. Cook to Basham. And it's five. The substitute. 18 years old, scored eight in eight for the under-19s this season. But a full part of the first team since Christmas and taking an opportunity there. 
Yeah, it's great to see, isn't it, when, when youngsters are, are thriving in a successful team. But it's all about Michaela Cook here, that drive, great delivery into the box and the desire to get on the end of it by Basham. You can see she has one thing on her mind, get to the byline, get the ball in. And it's great to see Basham on the score sheet and showing that, that talent that she has. We're talking about Phoebe Poole leaving last summer. Where does, who's the next player? There's always another player coming from Cardiff, it seems. If it's Colley or Basham, there's the, the youngsters coming through. Ah, stepping up to the mark. Yeah, it seems as though Cardiff have a good pathway and that they've been introducing players from the under-19s when they, they see they're ready, so they understand what the standards are, so they can step up. Because you know when players are doing well in this league, there's always people watching and keeping hold of your players when they want to step up and test themselves in different leagues and different teams. And I think that's been the difference this year. Cardiff haven't necessarily relied on one stand-up player. It's been very much a squad um, performance throughout the season because they have that strength and depth to do that. You know, one player not here in terms of youth and the opportunities she's taking is Megan Bowen. Obviously, she's with the Wales under-19s team this week. She played yesterday, 90 minutes as Wales won 3-0 against Moldova. As Cara Jones goes for goal and it's a consolation goal, but quite the consolation goal. 20 minutes to go. I doubt we'll see a comeback, but Cara Jones with a goal to remember. Yeah, totally against the runner play there, but what a fantastic strike. We talked about Chamberlain being off her, off her line and she just looks up and what a fantastic strike that is. Totally caught Cardiff City off guard there. Jones, her eighth league goal, 12th in all competitions. As we see, two more substitutes come on for Cardiff. Kelly Adams and Lisa Owen coming on. Fiona Price, one of the players coming off, as well as Emma Beenan. Now, hopefully, that goal now will really lift Wrexham. And obviously, with an eye on four weeks' time, something to raise the hopes for a Welsh Cup win. Yeah, definitely. Something positive to take from this game. One thing what I will say about Wrexham is they never give up their fights. They're, they're very resilient. They keep going. That's, the, I think, the lift that they needed. An attempt towards the back post. Knocked by Small. Cara Jones. I know that's played every ever present in this Wrexham team since they've come up. One that was has joined over the summer. And that's one another point to make about Rex, and they're a very young team as well. I think their av their average age is really young. So the lessons that they've learned from this season, even though they have had a really impressive season, they would have learned a lot as well. And if they can keep this core group of players and make some additions, Steve Dale, you know, he made some good signings this season. But if you can add a little bit more experience, I think it'll really help this young team. Yeah, it was unfortunate for them that one of their star experienced signings this summer, Henna Karakopoulos, 
only managed to play 19 minutes and she got a goal during those 19 minutes but unfortunate that they haven't seen more of her within the time with an injury we'll see not for the first time this season Karen Chamberlain being served for Anna Phelps Anna Phelps four times she's appeared as a substitute everybody gets the opportunity in this game it's been a good addition since joining in January she's been given an opportunity youngster 17 years old in goal and well, she looks like she's playing a higher line than Kelly Chamberlain was. They really, they really like this high starting position, don't they? It's almost at the halfway line. As a former centre back, I don't like it. <laughs> Fuller back to Delph Morgan. Morgan clears. Bounces all the way to Cara Jones. I wasn't sure if that was an attempt at goal or trying to create an opportunity there by Lily Jones. It was a great little touch from Cara Jones. Power out to Owen. Basham. Can't collect Fuller to Small. Small goes from distance. An early test for Anna Phelps, but straight to her. Yeah, again, they're positive from Maxim. With all these substitutions coming on, is it, we're seeing it open up for Wrexham. Yeah, when you make lots of substitutes, it just you lose that, that rhythm and that balance a little bit. Wrexham once again getting an opportunity in the second half. Cara Jones! And across the face of the goal it goes. Cara Jones once again. Cara Jones in the thick of it again, isn't she? Lily Jones, a great ball in. Just didn't make clear contact with it to direct it towards goal. But really positive again from Wrexham. 22 year old joined from Stoke over the summer. Another of those just good, good business by Steve Dale, as you were saying. Throw by Phoebe Davis to Lightfoot. Karen Allen heads down. Cardiff pushing up again the high line. And Derek Morgan find the space behind Lightfoot was there. Karen Allen. Yeah, they, they're using the ball a lot better, Wrexham. You know, it's hard work when you haven't got the ball, you're always chasing, but they're dominating possession just a little bit more. Pritchard, it's Jones. Cara Jones. Oh, it's a small, small. He's got possession. And gives it away. Lightfoot was the target. Auckland as well, just a step in front of Cara Jones there. But in the end... A wasted chance. I think it was Holly Smith with the last pass. I know Michaela Cook is fast, but she's not getting on the end of that pass. Keynes. Allen turns well. Allen still going. Good work by the captain for Wrexham. Asking too much of Amber Lightfoot there. After the initial good work. Power across to Holly Smith, who's in the plenty of space. And who doesn't need any space is Cook. Auckland ahead of her. Cook continued with the run. And one touch too heavy. There's Phoebe Davis clears. Phoebe Davis has gone down, holding her ankle. I don't think there's been any cards in this game yet. No, I don't think there is. That's, that's a late challenge there from Michaela Cook. 
Not sure she rolls her ankle as well, or it was just contact. But Wrexham have definitely looked more compact and organised in this second half. That's gone straight to Corley. And in the end, Corley doesn't punish Del Morgan for handing an opportunity on a plate there. Walklet. Out by Cara Jones. Throw for Cardiff. Take it quickly. Once again. Fuller. Goes long. No one there for Exum. Once again, Watkins. Watkins. Pass Lightfoot. Lightfoot. Wouldn't let that one lie. Good work by Lightfoot. Cara Jones. To small. This is Gibbard. Gibbard goes from distance. Phelps will take her time. Yeah, I think she just seen that the goalkeeper was off her line there. But she's a long way out there. Needed a lot more power behind the ball. In Derbyshire, clearly giving Anna Phelps opportunities investing in future perhaps not often you see keepers coming on as substitutes so often yeah it's great to be able to do that isn't it she started the game against Aberystwyth as well um, so it's really important that these young players know the standards and if, if they are called upon they know exactly what to expect and it's not a shock then for them when they, they are asked to do a job Carla Jones frustrated with herself there. And we see, I think, the final substitutes coming off. Mari Gibbard coming off for Libby McKenzie. And Erin uh, Lovett is also going to come on. And she's in place of Brooke Keynes. The former England youth international. Yeah, we haven't seen as much as Erin Gibbard as we would have. Sorry, Gibbard, if we, as much as we would have liked to. She's such a, a tidy player for Wrexham, but she just hasn't been able to get on the ball and impact the game as much as she had this season. in the final 10 minutes of the game final 10 minutes of the season for both these teams Karen Allen can't quite get the pass to Cara Jones Lily Jones up towards Amber Lightfoot Lightfoot Walsh is in front of her where's the support comes from Phoebe Davis Lightfoot it's Lisa Owen Pulls her down, no foul, going to bring Markham Jones. Swan Walsh. Tries the pass behind Karen Allen for Eliza Colley to run. Colley in the end. Can't beat Allen. Yeah, it was a clear foul, isn't it? I think Karen Allen's been a fantastic addition to the league this season as well. And I think that's the sort of experience that Wrexham needs to continue to sign. Levitt and Morgan exchanging passes. Oh, Levitt slips as she tries the pass there. It's in Cardiff possession once again. Walsh. Walsh the captain. Power. Auckland now. Owen, outsider. Owen steps in. Wrexham dealt with that. Power. And Owen in the end. 
Yeah, again, it's just that final pass, isn't it? Letting both teams down. Walsh forward to Adams. All the passes behind Cook. And almost. There's an opportunity there for Mackenzie. Now here's Basham. Time to run. She hasn't. Basham thought she was through on goal there. An early call by the linesman. It's another close one, isn't it? I think I have to see that again. Karen Allen. Karen Allen goes from distance once again. No problem for Phelps, the substitute keeper. And a power. Davis tries some skill. Watkins wasn't fooled. Lisa Owen. Behind for Collie. And Gareth Morgan just waiting there. The edge of the box. But we, we highlighted Lily Jones at the beginning of the game and she's been absolutely everywhere in this game. She's been filling in at fullback, at centre back, trying to, to link the de defence to attack. She's now standing in a number 10 position. True utility player. Yeah, and she's only 18 years old. You know, she has a bright future ahead of it. Here's Cara Jones, and sliding in was Rebecca Pritchard. Scored Wrexham's opener in the Premier League. Their first goal in the Adron Premier. Yeah, it's been a really competitive season, hasn't it? I'll be honest, at the beginning of the season caused a bit of conflict in my family, but I said Swansea were my <laughs> my favourites to seal the title when you look at their, their players. And to win back-to-back uh, -back titles is tough. Um, yeah, so I, I put my money on Swansea at the beginning of the season. What did your sister... Hannah Power on the wall, I have to say about that. Oh, well, she knows I'm very opinion opinionated, so <laughs> she just had to accept it. But Cardiff City have proved, proved me wrong. I think a massive loss for Swansea this season was Stacey John Davis. Mm. They, they have really missed her. Yeah, top goal scorer in the league for the previous two seasons. She's missing the last games this season. This is a... Uh, Free kick. A free kick for Wrexham. Well, Amber Lightfoot asking the question, why not play the advantage there? I think it's a valid question. Yep. Well, that corner, that free kick taken quickly while we were watching the replays. Yeah, I missed that then. Anna Phelps. I thought she'd collected. Well, there were crumbs there to collect from Mackenzie. It's a really clean strike. I think it was Lily Jones. The free kick specialist, TJ Dickens, is on the bench. She scored some screamers this season as well. But I think Wrexham will definitely finish this game with some positives to take into the cup final. Lisa Owen. Power. Walk is to Smith. Smith to the corner towards Michaela Cook. Cook with a cross to Walklet. And Delph Morgan read that one well. Yeah, a good goalkeeper there from Delph Morgan. Jones loses possession. Pass to Lisa Owen. I could see the flag waiting to be put up there by the linesman. And yeah. uh, in terms of the game so far as we reach the 90, I can. Uh, who do you say is?
player, your player of the match, Katie? Well, we spoke about her in the uh, beginning of the game. Scored a goal. Had an assist. Michaela Cook would be definitely my, my player of the match. Her Thanks. energy, um, her end product, her work rate defensively. Yeah, an all-round fantastic performance from her. I'm glad to say that Welsh commentary agreed with you. But now, an opportunity for Cara Jones to get her second. Cara Jones and the pubs as well to come out and smother the shot. There is a shot from distance as well. Phelps deals with it. Cara Jones, she has been the star for Wrexham in the second half. Yeah, great talent. Playing off the shoulder there. Just couldn't change the angle. You have to give credit to the goalkeeper there, really closing down her space. But she's been fantastic in the second half. Power forward to Basham. Basham can't hold onto the ball. Small. Good touch by Small. Forward to Cara Jones once again. Is Cara Jones closing down on goal. Jones goes for it. Can't get it on target. She saw the Phelps just turned her back on play there. While Cara Jones has taken the shot. Yeah, she actually had more time than she thought there. You can see what she's trying to do. We just couldn't execute it. And expect some big changes for Wrexham. And obviously, they tried something different at the start of this game. But do you think they'll go back to what they know best when it comes to the cup final? Yeah, like I said, Steve Dale now has four weeks, doesn't he, to reflect on this performance and see the areas that they need to improve both in defence and attack. But I think more than likely he'll go back to what suits his team. Small. So Cara Jones turns well. Jones to Pritchard. It's appeals from offside from the Cardiff back line. But in the end, Pritchard flashes the cross across the face of the goal. But they're definitely finishing strong, aren't they, Wrexham? Like I said, they're a very resilient team. They don't give up. Pritchard finding herself in that high position there, but just couldn't get anyone on the end of it. But usually we see Cara Jones in that more of a wide position but with Rosie Hughes going off she's taken up that, that central position and she's done really really well Allen back to Delth Morgan we're in the added time less than a minute left of the season for Wrexham and Cardiff is there another consolation goal Power clears to Davis. Davis on Walsh. Let's stay down. But there's an opportunity on goal. And almost another one from Cara Jones. Jones. Such a good second half for Cara Jones. Can't get that one on target. Yeah, she has one thing on her mind, doesn't she? As soon as she picks the ball up, she's trying to test the goalkeeper. Collie the Basham I don't think that was the touch he wanted I think she was trying to play Collie in again and that was the last opportunity for Ian Darbush's team he celebrates a good win today orchestrated by Cook and they get now to lift the trophy in front of the home fans second consecutive time they've done that but for now it's Cardiff 5 Wrexham 1 we go down to Helvana Ian a huge congratulations a convincing win as well to finish off the season uh, what, what's your reaction? 
Yeah, thank you. Um, I thought we were really good today, especially for the first kind of 60, 70 minutes. Uh, probably should have scored a few more in the first half. Um, you know, credit to Wrexham, they battled through and, you know, we can enjoy this now. And I said to the girls, you know, we we didn't have to rely on this game, but I wanted a good performance and I think they did that today. And what does it say about this side, back-to-back -back victories, two seasons in a row? That's special, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's where we should be. I think this club for a lot of time didn't win any trophies and I think for the size of our club that's unacceptable and you know we've we've instilled a desire in the girls the pitch or three points or trophies and, and that's what we're aiming to do and we've got two more to focus on now yeah the two more how, um how good will the experience weekend and another one in a few weeks to look forward to can you do it the trouble we can do it but i think last year we took our eyes off the ball a little bit um it's about us now recovering and staying focused swansea will be a very difficult game next week and we know wrexham in a few weeks will be difficult they cause us some problems over the last few games that we've had so we're gonna have to switch on we're gonna have to keep that desire um not take anything for granted but it's definitely our aim I mean, personally, for you, how proud are you of this achievement? Incredibly proud. You know, we've, there's a lot of hard work goes behind the scenes, not just me, from from all the staff and, and the support staff in the club. And you know, we've created an environment for for the girls to be successful, and and the, the players then take it on board. But we do, and and they represent the club with proud with pride. So, you know, I'm I'm incredibly proud. Um, but we still got two more to go, so that's my focus now straight away. Ian, a huge congratulations. Enjoy the celebrations tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Ian Laur, Dai Arach i fynd o bosib. Mae'r bucket hat cyrdydd ma, so chwyr eiwyr yn dathlu fy nhyn yn y gwynt a'r glaw fy nhyn yn Stadium Dinas Cyrdydd. Y gwenan ti jyst sy'n gallu gweld faint fy hwn yn golygu i'r chwyr eiwyr ac i bawb sy'n rhan o'r clwb yma. Wrth gwrs, so a fi'n credu taw y ffaith bod efo'n un hefyd yn, yn helpu. So, Diolch ar y golyg fydd yna. Tor fod dros pip cart, fe mae'n hyfryd i weld nag o e ar, ffaith bod nhw'n gallu wneud e, adref o flaen teulu, um, teulu oedd nhw, a jyst ysbrydoli'r cynedloedd nesaf o, o, o bech i'r amerched, mor mor bwysig. A mae'n rhaid fe, mae'n braf weld cymaint o dorf yma yn y brif ddinas heddi, a mae'r golyg feidd yma jyst mor mor hyfryd. A gwenna fel wedi dod dylan ar y diwedd bynna, y gêm yma jyst yn crynhoi y tymor mae cyrdydd wedi cael, ond nhw ben ac y sgwyddau, Ewch ben Wrexham, ond ewch ben pawb arall yn y gynghrair eleni. Yn sicr. Uh, ochi gallu gweld y ffordd maen nhw wedi chwarae heddiw a trwy gydol y tymor. Jyst y dwysedd chwarae yna, maen nhw'n drefnus iawn hefyd chwarae teg. Well, Cwpl o newidiadau sy'n gadw oedd y gêm yn ddydd iago allan yn bach ond. Ia, maen nhw'n drefnus pawb yn gwybod cyfrifol defaid nhw'n glyd iawn. A mae gyda nhw blaenwyr sydd yn, yn llawn hyder, yn gyflym yn achosi problemau. Ond maen nhw hefyd i'r rwydd o chwreiwyr. Hmm. Holl bwysig. Edrych ar rhywun fel Emma Baynon sy'n dod gyda gymau o brofiad. Mae'n mynd yn gwybod sgwaith i'n rili bwysig yng nghanol cae. Mae'n rhywun yn edrych yn, yn grif pob mae'n ar y cae. A fi'n credu, beth sy'n bwysig hefyd? Ti'n gweld jyst faint mae'r chwreiwyr yma yn mwynhau chwarae'r clwb. Achos i bobl sydd ddim yn ymwybodol, mae'n lot yn nhw hefyd yn dai hard cefnogwyr o gyrdydd, nag unrhyw. Ydym, ie, yeah, a mae hwnna'n helpu yn sicr. A eto, i cael chwarae fy nhyn. So mae hwnna, mae hwnna'n roi cymhelliant hyn o'r fwyaf nhw i perfformio ar y gorau a'i sicrhau bod nhw'n cael y cyfle i ddod nôl mwy, mwy gyson. Ond fi jyst yn, yn falch i gweld clwb sydd yn... Well, maen nhw wedi bod mor cefnogol a rili wedi buddsoddi. Maen nhw yn rhoi lot mewn i'r, i'r holl cynllun, i'r, i'r program, i'r rhaglen. A mae hwnna'n bwysig i fi bod nhw nawr yn cael y bydd o hwnna um, ac o beithio fydd yna eraill yn dilyn. Ble maen nhw'n gallu? Yn amlwg mae fe'n haws i chi dydd nag i glybio arall. Ond gobeithio fydd yna fwy o buddsoddi yn cael y clybiau arall nawr fel Abertawe sydd angen um, Camilana a dal nhw, a maen nhw'n dech yn neud e ond mae angen bach fwy. Ni'n gweld dathliadau cyrdydd fy'n hyn, Gwenan, ond gair bach am Wrexham. Beth sy'n credu a o'i le heddi, mi'n gwybod wrth yna gap mawr o ran y safon, ond tuag at y diwedd, dechrau o'n y ware. O, ie, wel oedd y gap i wedi dechrau dod, nag oedd y gêm di domestin tip yn bach. Fi wasa wedi gweithio, a fi yn teimlo yn, yn weddol angerddol am hwn. Mae'r elfen seicolegol yn holl bwysig. Sydd dod mewn i'r gêm yn ofni, neu jyst yn o'n gom, mae'n mynd i'n fwy'n gêm anodd, sydd colli gêm yn barod. Hmm. A er bod dim byd ar y gêm yma, dyn cyfle nhw newid pethau creu cwpl o partner ieithau gwahanol, systemau gwahanol. Mae dal yn rili bwysig bod nhw... Mae nhw jyst yn, yn cael bach fwy'r ffydd mewn nhw eu hunan. Hmm. A mae dechreuad 
get that goal, um, get out of them and help me. I could beat him now and had a lad who had the RRL then I'm positive of him and I'm a man who's game cup and I'm definitely smile. Yeah, because final cup and Cymru definitely smile. Well, Nesty so and Pam and I'm like, we didn't have her in Varino. But the ride in Ugal, back or Beth, my new villa and Cody Cup and Anna. Yeah, it's all in place. So, we're going to have a lesson now in Club. Camera and Dylan are going to play. I'm going to have a high and I'm sick here. I'll see point mint. I see them a mini car in the feed that go by. No edit my game cup on. I'm not lost in trade. So I'm in a bit of getting dig with. So, yeah, I could be to now no other lad, you all the other one. I think it's a good one. We're going to have a lady for Lani that's been in Medalla and over here. No Lani now, Rattel and Ebenezer. Rihanna O'Kee, Sam Watkins, Emma Bainon. There's a whole squad of players collecting their medals. Wrexham applauding. They are seeing what the standard is for next season. They can build on. And for now, Cardiff City for the second consecutive season are going to lift the trophy at the Cardiff City Stadium. Now, Hannah, when you think that it had been 10 years since the last time Cardiff had won this league, what's the big factor, you think, that they've come through and done two? In a row. I, I think, like you said, it's, it was 10 years since they won anything. Um, and then they won the Welsh Cup and they kind of kicked on from there. But I think the club has really invested in the team. Um, and I think they've created this winning environment. And they've had good signings. And I think this year it hasn't been about one individual player. Consistently, this whole squad has performed. Um, and I think that's been the big difference this year is this squad, this whole squad um, performance. And like you say, they've, they've won this, uh, the league now, but like Ian said, they're going to really push on now and, and try and win that, that double in the treble. Anna Power and Siobhan Walsh holding the trophy. Yeah, 2023-24 Janeiro Adran Premier Champions of Cardiff City. And what does that mean, moment mean for someone like Anna Power and Siobhan Walsh? People who are... Cardiff City through and through. Yeah, and that's exactly what they are. They're, they're Cardiff City fans as well. But these two girls in particular, they've been at this club a long time and they've been there through the tough times when Swansea and Cardiff met. They were the teams that everyone was chasing. So for them to come through those tough times and this group have been together for a long time, this core of the, the group. So yeah, so it's great to see them have their rewards and yeah, I, I've seen the journey that they've been on. Um, and now for Wrexham, looking at this, this is the stand they want to get to. Well, my dear, stop up, Buru Glau, my dear, Dechre, Buru Champagne for him and Stadium Dinas Cardiz. I got out, busy in the world, to include Pope Cavaliad, to include Ian Darbish and Sharad, on Haver and Sharad, get a hurry with Cardiz, Drossel of Nasa, Dressam, and oh, great, okay, need the NSA gang ride on Nimoin Moy, in Nimoin NSA Truce, in Nimoin NSA Guffan, but no mind pop Beth, and I know. I'm a Hunai V, I'm a Zelda to mine. So I was Tina Nestrike, I see Juan and Savane have. See them just unhappy, Scott Kalin, to my moi, a moi, a moi, a moi. My head, he doesn't know, he can't come here, he can't turn up, he gets in age, and I call you Savana, he pan high, disco, a career, a good basket. I'm in her pretty well, I'm in her head, he's a daft lad, I'm in her shoe, I'm a golly lad, I am. Yes, only with a proper cut, you take me, I'm fine. On, um, no, I'm in her pretty well. Okay, and I'm going to try any all out at Hela, the Galmoy or Matter. Oh, Fionn, Michaela, a huge congratulations. How are you feeling? Oh, words can't describe. We're absolutely delighted to win um, on a pitch like this in front of all the fans. It just sums up what a fantastic season we've had. And how was that game out there today for you? A goal? Oh, it was amazing, you know. I mean, I've always dreamed of scoring in the stadium, and I mean, what a way to do it with a free kick. I mean, she finally let me add a free kick. <laughs> I've been waiting all season for that. <laughs> yeah, and um, doing the uh, winning the, t the league back to back as well. How, do, how does that feel? I think it just sums up the depth and the confidence in this squad. And we've grown uh, from last year. And I think we got what we thoroughly deserved in. A massive credit to the girls and the staff. Couldn't have done it without anyone in this team. And how do the next, what, two weeks and the, still a trophy and then another two weeks of the cup final, how do they look and can you do the treble? Oh, I mean, oh, that would be the dream. Um, yeah, you know, I think we can do it. I think we've got a strong enough squad and I think the girls are going to be buzzing off this and going to be wanting to push into the next two weeks now to, to win the treble. So, 
yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know, a lot of you, you girls that play for Cardiff City are massive Cardiff City fans as well. And how nice is it to see Errol Bullet, the men's manager here, celebrating with you? Well, I hope he sees my hat and my Cardiff City <laughs> jibbit on my croc. I mean, I'm a massive Bluebird fan. Uh, I wear the shirt with pride and a lot of the girls doing this. Again, words can't describe, fantastic. Oh, girls, a huge congratulations. Enjoy the celebration. Thank you. Yay, Bluebird! <laughs> Joy of a few on price and Grishka Bucket hat. A croc, David, and Dathly Ennis a gang ride. A going on, brave young, gweld Errol Bullet, when a good are Horewit, on Snimini Gal Kibolog are a Golia and er Ail Hanner, the Guido, the Eager Deed, no need a cre, good are Gola Maguen and Venetia Hon. Yeah, just et all and I'm for this or on South Point, Rex, I'm Cam Gomeriata, and I don't have to call on, nice to say, to have a fond plane with. Um, Kaiti's call even in and, and just an, and sick of everybody and let's go in my new sand screen, so my, my poor plane was Davil and I'm just a stiff up, a gun pass, Kavli, Ois Gohano. Uh, I can, well, I'll run that to Cam Cabrera, that was a poison that he's Roy Anver. Go on, dear, I'm going to try any on that. I'll tell you that, I'm going to that up. Rian and Eliza, a huge congratulations. How are you feeling? You won the league and you're celebrating here at the Cardiff City Stadium. Yeah, obviously it's amazing to win the league and I don't think we want to be anywhere else than at our home stadium with the fans. So, amazing to come off a win today, you know, we know what we need to do coming into the game and it's just amazing to celebrate with all our friends and family at this home stadium. How was it to play out there today and get a goal? I mean, it's always good to play on this pitch. It's probably one of the best pitches in Wales. It is the best pitch in Wales. It's the best stadium in Wales. And for us to score, both of us have scored, and it's just a great feeling in front of all the fans as well. What does it say about this side, getting the league title back-to-back? Yeah, you know, we had a great season last season, but this season we wanted to top off last season. You know, We worked really hard this season. We've had some unbelievable performances, and we topped it off today with an amazing 5-1 win. And how determined are you as players to do the triple this year? Because... I couldn't hear you. How determined are you as players to get the treble this season? You know, we missed out last year, you know, doing the double last year. So I don't think anyone wants more than the treble this year. So two big games now, but we know what we need to do. So hopefully we come away with the treble. I mean, yeah, we've worked, we've worked really hard this season. We haven't been, we've been non-stop for ages. So we've done this now. We check, check this one off and we got two more to go. And our, our focus is still on them too. Well, I won't keep you any longer because the celebrations are going on over there. So thank you, well done. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Sean, cover here at the Golag Bay Hyfryd Megan Bowen, see them at Gada Chymru, Bant Ar Heno Bryd, Golag Bay Hyfryd. Van Heenen, Stadium Dinas Cyrdyd. Right, Gwenan, Gad in you well, Pymed Gol Cyrdyd, Gan Eliza Colley, Mahidi Gal, Tippin o dyma'r ynithydd yr esgid ar 17 o goliad tamar yma, mae wedi cael tamar special iawn y lyri. Ie, yeah, o well, basio mi hwn, um, ond Colin Cray, um, tra, just wasa wneud gwaith a um, na nid, Colin Cray, cwc o fe, na'n pam gath i ter yn y gym, ond yeah, basio mi hwn, mae'n chwrae rai gifan, gwybod union play bod ar yr adeg gywir, a so I'm really happy to hear that the Argraf Pantasioddi are fine or blind. We're not going to be able to get the price of 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 the Right, so a couple of rounds yet, Tervanol, Idod, Van Hin, Arscorio, Akin, Indachra, Tlus, Radran, Genero, Kerdi, then Erben, Abertow, and Dizil, Nessa, Van Bimpur, Gloch, and Veo, Arlene, Ak, Arik, Taledi, Clever, Van Hin, Arscorio, Awedani, Ara, Pimed, Ovai, Kupan, Kumri, Boot, Energy, around Ervenol, Rexam, and Erben, Kerdi, then with Eto, Honan, Veo, Aras, Padorek, Breed, Honey. Well, dyna ni am Prynhawma, a dyna ni am dymor y brif Adran Gynero. Cyrdydd yn cael eu cyrroni'n bencampwyr am yr ail dymor yn olynol. Fi'n siŵr, fi na ddathlu yng Ngyrdydd hen yma. Ond wrth o fi, gwenan, ar criw i gyd fy'n hyn, diolch am y chwmni chi hen yma. Nos da.